going on everybody an attempt to keep making videos i was going to give what's going on i finally got the new tires new belts on the snapper now what happened is those belts was extremely back ordered right i don't know if you heard me say that well parts tree i called them after about over a month and i said where's my parts at and she said they're not showing them as getting any more their the number was gone for them i said so i ain't been charged the 200 and some dollars she's like no I said all right I, she said good luck she said you'll have better luck going to a dealership it might have them on the shelf or something i was like okay i was like why would snapper quit making belts so i went to jack's small engine i can show you all the receipts and they showed us having them all right i ordered them that same night that i talked to her i got off the phone with her ordered them on jack's that same night i got an email saying deliver uh shipped and i was like what what are you talking about shipped they told me they didn't have them well, apparently snapper was back ordered bad and there apparently there's a lot of these mowers because they're pretty long belt and very expensive belt or parts tree had them for 109 i think and jacks had them for 98 something like that so i ordered them so now i got two sets of them so i got over 400 dollars in freaking belts yay me i could have sent one back but why i'll just keep it but yeah this thing's ready to go i was going to use it this past week to mow with and i don't know i'm just spoiled to that z master but i figured i'd show y'all she's looking good painted the wheels them up front needs pressure washed they're just greasy need to change the oil filter no oil it's still pretty clean though but i don't care i want to get it on a maintenance schedule you know what i'm saying but anyway i've got the uh, screw come out this was out before i even bought the machine see that that's missing and I don't want that to come loose or anything this thing's very good on fuel I've only fueled it up one time I use it all the time here at the house I mow all this back with it just to play with it and then I took it on one big job that was uh God, that grass was high as that gas tank and it chomped right through it I mean you had to double cut it but other than that, he chomped her son. Very impressed with this machine. Well, what is the money I give for it? And anyway, I'm just going to call this video over. I'm just going to let you know I finally got the tires on. Took the tires off with the uh, Harbor Freight tire thing. But took it to the dealer dealer not the dealer the dang tire place and they put them on for six bucks they both had inner tubes and the wheels was bent real bad you could tell where he had slid or something and damaged the wheels so i know that's why the tube was in there so it's got new tubes in it too just in case but straighten the wheels out it took a while to straighten them wheels out now reshaped them back to where they almost perfect Here's what I used. It's a Harbor Freight tire changer. It got a little rough with those uh, tubes in there, so just let the garage do it. I think they charge six bucks, so no big deal. But I gotta get ready to get mow. It has rained here for the last I don't know how many days I lost count since Thursday and today's Sunday. So that's it. I guess I'll catch y'all later.